What are Marines about this? Uh, yeah, pretty cool event. Uh, I know our guys uh, like to do the team activities and uh, the, didn't come out with the win, but uh, it was fun to watch guys compete. Do you think you're an underdog now that 75% <laughs> of the time they won? Uh, we'll, well, maybe we'll play that card. So, uh, But uh, no, I'm excited. We've had a good week of practice and the guys will be ready to play on Tuesday night. What's it been like for you trying to prepare for what LSU is going to do in quarterback? Uh, it's been difficult, but uh, we know it's LSU and you can look at the film. They've got really good players and uh, they're going to have the ability to run the football. They've got an awful, awful good offensive line and they have really good running backs. And, uh, so it'll be a big challenge for us. How's it going to be a situation where we're all going to talk about December about I think the preparation is difficult for everybody. Uh, I don't think it's just for us. I think it's probably difficult for them, too. I mean, we have a change in our in our staff on offense, and, and so who knows what we're going to do offensively. And so uh, you got to look at the film and just got to go from there and, and prepare the best you can and adapt and adjust. What kind of advice have you had for Colin throughout those around Yeah, fun. Uh, Colin is, is a... A great, great young coach, and excited for him to have this opportunity. Spent an awful lot of time with the offense. I, I love the way that he's led the guys, and uh, guys are, are practicing hard, and it'll be fun to watch. How's Houston treating so far? It's been great. The uh, hospitality's been just phenomenal. I uh, can't uh, thank the Texas Bowl uh, enough for uh, taking care of all of us as players, support staff, coaches. It's been fun. They call in the NFL an island game. You guys have Tuesday night to yourself. I realize it's late, it's early January. Thoughts about that? Uh, it probably helped us. We talked about that. It probably helped us getting our quarterback ready to play on January 4th. I think it's uh, uh, when it first came out, it seemed like it was a long ways away. But uh, now that we finished up our Wednesday practice, uh, and we feel like it's right around the corner. And I know our guys are excited for the opportunity. How has the guy Really good. Uh, looked really healthy. I think he's as healthy as he's been all year, to be honest with you. Coming off the, the couple injuries that he's had, uh, I see no ill effects of anything that uh, has gone on. Uh, he's throwing the ball crisp. He's running the ball well. Uh, and, and so I'm looking forward to him having a, a big football game, and he's excited to play. Okay. LSU defensively down the stretch, the way they play and everything, what do you see on the field? Uh, very athletic, very physical. Uh, get after the quarterback. They change some things defensively. Uh, went to score single high stuff. Maybe they'll go back to the two high. Who knows? We've got to prepare for everything. But uh, really talented guys at all three levels of the defense. And, uh, guys that, uh, even if they haven't played a bunch or chopped with a bit to get an opportunity to play, just like we'll have a few of those guys. Okay. Uh, Chris, as you watch other games get canceled around the country, were you, were you ever nervous that you might not be standing here? Well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're always still nervous just because uh, some games have gotten canceled 24 hours before. And so we're excited that we're here. I've talked to Brad. I know they're excited to be here as well. And we still have to be uh, diligent uh, about our preparation and about the protocols to make sure that uh, we do get to Tuesday night. But uh, you know, each day that passes, we feel like we're one day closer. Uh, and I'm excited for both teams to get an opportunity to play. We did make it down with the bulk of the roster. We're down a few guys, uh, but, uh, you know, hopefully it's just those few handful of guys we don't have any more. Well, he's going to have a big challenge, but uh, Felix is up for the challenge and, and excited about uh, uh, what he can do. We, we get a couple of other defensive linemen that have been nicked up back, so uh, it helps us to probably have a multitude of guys. We play a lot of guys anyway, but... Uh, uh, Felix has had a tremendous year, and we're looking forward to cap it off. All right, thanks, Greg. You bet. All right, Randy. We've got a cap pinning extraordinary Randy Blatter coming in. <laughs> Let's go. A few questions here, guys. There he is. What do you think of the fact that 75, 70% of the time that he's not playing this wins the Uh It's an interesting stat. Uh, I think that uh, we had a good time here competing against LSU. I did it too. I, uh, I hope it is not. That stat doesn't come true on Tuesday, but uh, we did look good here and uh, we'll do it the same on Tuesday. Did you lose stuff about the controversy? It's like if y'all were out of it and you got right back into it. Yeah, there was some controversy on the on the hay bale stacking. We had ours. 
exactly how they wanted them, and they had a little mishap with theirs. But uh, I think we got it all straightened out, and it ended up being 3 3, and then we lost the last event and some transition issues with the horse racing. But uh, overall, thanks to Tax and Tax Act and the Texas Bowl, we won this one. You're wearing this pretty well. Look like we could put you on a poster and be a country music star. Or something. <laughs> I don't know how well my singing is, but I'm alright with that. <laughs> what do you think about the LSU and just all the moving parts having to prepare for that? Yeah, uh, I was curious how much uh, country you could say they had in them. Um, I've never been to Louisiana, but uh, they came they came ready to play and it was a, it was a good time. Alright, we'll switch these guys out real quick. Same Thank order. A lot of events. Change that. Two, two questions for Shane. Or one. <laughs> Jay, you're, a, you're, you're a local guy, man. Uh, what, was it, what was it like to go out there? And I think you won you won the event for your squad, right? Uh, yeah, we did get the win. Uh, it's fun being back in Houston, being a Houston native. Um, and it's just fun competing. And uh, luckily, we got we got the win for K State. What sticks out to you about the game? What are you looking forward to? What's going to be a key? Just give me something about the game. Um, LSU, uh, as we all know, is, is a, always a powerhouse, and uh, it's going to be a fun, competitive game. And playing in a big game and NRGs uh, is going to be super fun. Hopefully, we can uh, pull up the W. Which was your favorite event that um, I personally like the barrel. I was in the barrel, got a little dizzy, but um, it's always fun trying trying some new stuff and. A little dizziness and pulling out the wind was definitely worth it. Did you have a tactic going in the barrel? Or were you just gonna um, not really. It was just hopefully I wasn't too dizzy and I could run straight. <laughs> All right, thank you. Good to see you, man. Thank you. Got a senior linebacker, Cody Fletcher. Cody, what's it been like getting ready for LSU, not knowing exactly the quarterback situation? Yeah, yeah, it's been difficult. You know, we don't really know who's going to be back there. We kind of have some ideas what they're going to do. You know, they could run some wildcats, stuff like that. But I think we just we've had a long time to prepare for anything they really brought us. Cody, why would you say this game is so important for all you seniors? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's extremely important. You know, it's our last opportunity to play a game. You know, in front of a big crowd. So I mean. Every game is important, but you know this one means a lot. You know, it's a, you know, it's kind of representing the Big 12, so that means a lot too. What was your favorite event? I would say the the calf pinning. You know, that that was cool to watch. You know, uh, we won that event, so that was nice. But just seeing all them go out there was pretty cool. Is there any surprises from your teammates that you were talking how adept yeah, they were at this? Yeah, I didn't know Hadley Panzer could uh, rope like that. You could tell, uh, you know, they had a kid that could rope really well too. You can tell he's been doing it a while. That was surprising. How is it preparing for a team that you don't know exactly what you're getting so many shots and moving parts of the players are out and not getting players over? Yeah, you know, it's extremely difficult, you know. Uh, it's, it's hard to know who to watch, you know, who's going to be there. So, you know, we, we know we got to update depth chart so we kind of have more of an idea of what's, what we're going to see and who we're going to see. But, you know, I think I think we've had plenty of time to prepare. So. What's your name having Oh, yeah, it's big. You know, he's a big leader for us. So it's really exciting having him back and control the offense and just watching him in practice. You know, he, he's a big leader for us and a really good player. So. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just real quick. Right, running back Deuce Vaughn. Deuce Vaughn. Hey, Deuce, what kind of offensive coordinator is Colin Mitch you guys? He's been, he's been really good at uh, the verbal communication that he brings as an offensive coordinator. You know, the fact that you know, he's always asking a question about how I feel about things, uh, how he can do better, uh, how I feel about around, how I feel about uh, this, this play calling, things like that. So it's been really cool uh, to have uh, him step into that role uh, throughout this, this brief time. He's done a great job. Making y'all have some feeling different out there with, with him calling the shots on you? Uh, not, not too much, just from the mere fact that it's only been a month, uh, so you can't go in and change the entire playbook. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, there's some things that he can talk to us and we'll help us with that and we'll help behind the game. So. What's it going to mean to you guys to have Skyler out there for this game? It's going to be huge, yeah. just uh, the mere fact that the opportunity for him to come out here and, and go out with the baby. That's, that's really big. He's, he's been so great for this program, he's been great for us as teammates and everybody inside that building. So, guys, uh, getting out here with him. What do you think it looks like in practice? Good. Uh, taking steps in the right direction. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, ask me to close to the game and tell me what it works out. Who do you think is going to be the 
you see out of LSU's defense and the challenges they'll present for you guys? Uh, just from the very fact that the defense that they run, you know, the open front bear stuff, and it's, it's really one of the defense where they play one high, and they have the one players that they play that well. They have the range of athletic guys that can run from sideline to sideline. They got the guys that climb up the middle uh, and that run, and then I gave uh, 100% props to them and the way they're playing the season. Dush, have you and your team has had a chance to talk about what this season could have been if Skyler doesn't get hurt early in the year? Uh, it's one of those things where if you look back, you know what it was back in hindsight. Uh, so how we have to win, uh, I feel like we're okay. And I feel like we're going to be well in this one of those things. That's unfortunate. This guy's team has a great time. So it's also got to look back and look ahead. Uh, we got a, a really good matchup on Tuesday. That's how we're going to do it. Did you ever think of that thing in the radio room? Uh, definitely the, the one where you put him in the barrel and they rolled him. That was something that... Uh, it was pretty cool to see just from the mere fact that I had no idea how Shane ran a straight line after he got out of that barrel. Were you surprised, besides Shane, was there anyone else's ability out there that surprised you? Oh, um, just the, whenever they were getting the cattle and into the, the, other, the other pen, the, the fact that they did that so quick and then I, I heard it was a record, yep. that was pretty cool just from the mere fact of how they, how they all worked together. That was pretty cool. Last line. Have you worn a cowboy hat before? I have not, and I'm absolutely <laughs> loving it right now. Um, <laughs> this may... This may all right, thank, thank you. Thank you all. All right. Thanks,